Hello guys, Never Vex here. Welcome back to Star Ocean Integrity and Faithlessness. So, last episode a load of shit went down. Mainly cutscene stuff. I must admit. I, don't know, I was just increasing the volume on the microphone because it didn't seem to doesn't seem to be very loud. And I wondered if it might have cut off at that point. So, yeah, lots of cutscenes. Uh, Emerson and Anne have lost Aurelia. She's been kidnapped. And then we cut back to the natives to this planet here in the capital, where we're heading back off to war. Essentially, I don't know exactly where well, I do need to go. Head to the western gates of the eastern tracker. Tell me where my exit is. I'm thinking to it, this is the wrong way to go. <laughs> I do not know where I'm going or what I'm doing. Um, <laughs> I have no idea. Considering going to Redock, uh, just before when I loaded up the game, I was in that inn, and all the um, side quest stars were there about Ruddle, who we've been looking for for a while now. So I'm thinking of going there, complete that quest or advance that quest. So let's do that for starters. Then we'll move on. Back onto the game afterwards. Well, onto the story afterwards. And the dead. Those enemies have been given a bit of a boost, I think. Their stats. I'm sure their weapons look somewhat different as well. What a feeling to come back to what's new. Honey bee. I'm scared of the bees you get around here. There's a giant bee like that out and about. Shitting myself. Finished. A decisive win. With minimal it? casualties. I am with the victory again. Ow, 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 ow. Well, we Asshole. You can literally just switch between skills. There's no reason for you to use normal attacks on them in this game. You have an have a normal amount of MP in order to use your techniques. I mean, we have used about half of it at Morin's view in three battles, but... Charge! That's that. Evil living tree. He's no longer living. Why can't they all be this Level up! What level are we on now? Wow. I had enough. Looks like I'm gaining on my farm. In terms of level, we're not that far in the game, really, are we? Does the level really mean anything in this game, or is it literally just. I think it just increases stats. Learning skills and stuff, obviously that's with the um, skill manuals and whatnot. Speaking of... I do have two restorative signals. That's not what we're looking for, I think. Can anything be learned here? I can use it to... Um, to power up that, but you should never really use the skill books to increase mastery of something. Okay, I'll take your antidote. Okay, I can't do that. Ah, oh, fuck it. <laughs> I just said not to, but whatever, Trey. So, yeah, we'll start off with some side questy stuff. I, I think I probably won't do blind LPs of RPGs anymore. I don't know what the hell I'm doing. 
when I play an RPG, I prefer to have some sort of, maybe even, you'd say, plan. So what I want to do. So... Let's do this sort of this, the private actions as well, don't really bother me in this game. I was it with the loud it. What the fuck? Is that the inf install? Oh yeah, I know, you know, install, that's it, innit? We've, yeah, I, I know we've done some of this quest before. But then I went all like story focused and I didn't bother on anything. So yeah, with these episode, episodes, I'm not really sure what to do. Apollo wants to just forever just continue on with story. But as an RPG, work, work, you're missing out as viewers on um, the various side quest stuff going on. And I'm also missing out because <laughs> I'm not I'm not getting to see them either. I, I only play this game now. When recording it, if I had, if I wasn't recording it, if I wasn't doing a series of this, I would have played the game like constantly, like every day, and um, I might well have completed it by now. These bugs remind me of like the first enemy you fight in um, Star Wars Four. It comes on that planet, Asos. The planet or something like that. Speaking of actually, speaking of my opinion on this game, I like this game. As I've said before, I think it's a very good game. The battle system is very good. I like the whole whole pile of mistaking part sort of thing. It makes a pretty expensive battle. It shows what the system is capable of, what the developers is capable of. But <laughs> right, here comes the but. That was it. I um, I still think I prefer Star Wars and The Last Hope. Star Ocean 4. That felt more Star Ocean to me. Maybe I'm getting lost in nostalgia and what I'm used to seeing. I've played Star Ocean till the end of time. Star Ocean The Last Hope and this game here. I haven't played the earlier games in the series. This enemy is called Deep One. For half a second I put it a derpy one. Anyway. So yeah, I've only played like three games out of five in this series. Uh, and I just preferred them. I don't like I'm being unfair. How have I missed the treasure chest? I don't like how the treasure chest icons and the other field icons don't appear on the big map when you expand it. I think that's stupid. As we see there's another Cathedral of Oblivion here. Maybe we'll take part in this as well. Maybe we'll make this a side quest of the episode. We've done nothing but story since uh, the last fair few episodes. Um, we've come to a bit of a a good break almost in the story. Um, but with all the recent events, it's all really kicking off now. Now is probably a good time to do some side questy stuff. Although I've confirmed, people have confirmed in comments and I've read online, there's very few side quests and stuff that can be missed. You could, there doesn't seem to be a time limit on any side quest. But that doesn't necessarily mean that we should leave them all to the end. So yeah, we might, be, we might make this side quest the episode. Let's start off on Monday. Yeah, I'm going to try and do this. I might end up regretting it. We're going to meet Mr. Eyeball again. And I've only got raw party members. Go scumbags. He stole my money. He stole my mula. He's not getting away. Not like this. They are humanoid. Oh, they are human enemies, so they speak right and they die. Right, what's next? Oh, sounds like a this is a different group of enemies then. Oh you bastard. 
Yeah, actually, despite what I was saying about just using skills, I'll probably try and save my MP. I've actually forgotten how to counter-attack. It's been so long since I've, I've done it. Did you just press square again after a successful guard? I think it's that. I don't honestly know. So yeah, as I was saying earlier, probably won't blind you do an LP or an RPG again. I know what RPG I'm going to do next. Oh, this fucking asshole. Um, I know what RPG I'm going to do next on the channel. But I'm probably going to wait until this one's finished. So, God knows how long it'll be until we actually see it dry up. Whoa, 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 whoa. I want to be careful that I don't get hit so much I lose my special attack. I'm just going to use an air slash from far away. Oh, yeah, behold, I move, move, move. Remember this move with a horrible passion. Using magic. I got that. Might as well go for it. This might be enough to kill it. This seems to be the exact same enemies before. It doesn't seem to be any stronger. He's literally moved out of range. Oh, I killed him. Could have been worse, I guess. Considering we spent nearly 20 minutes fighting him on like the fifth episode, and ended up losing, and it took us minutes to defeat him then. No flinch at attack damage equals minus 5% temp. So does that mean I don't flinch when taking normal attack damage at the cost of 5% temp? If that's the case, someone tell me in the comments is that if that's the case. And is it worth um, actually doing that or not? We're back out here. Let's continue to passage on the glyphs to go back to our hometown, where Ruddle should be. Uh, so yeah, uh, also on the channel. Uh, today is Monday. Well, it's not when I'm recording. It's Sunday, but it's Monday when this episode goes live. Uh, and the last episode of Batman: The Telltale Series, Chapter One, Round My Shadows, which will be going live at 6 p.m. UK time today. Oh, I love. The Telltale series. They work well with blind um, playthroughs and stuff because you get real initial reactions to all the drama that goes on in them and you get to make the decisions in the spots and everything. And it doesn't really, um. doesn't really worry me so much. Like, I'm, like I'm, I'm blindly playing this game now. I'm sitting here worried about all the stuff I'm missing. An RPG, <laughs> and RPGs are full of secrets, and I want to just. I'm, I'm, I was tempted to stream this game just doing side quest stuff. Um, we're having that as like a bonus episode. I may well do something like that because I like to play RPGs and just sit and play them for hours. Um. There's one now. I'm playing Lost Odyssey. Old game, by all accounts. Um, but uh, I'm playing it. It's come to a point now. I'm on disc four of four. I've had the game this in two weeks. I've had this game. Oh, I don't know when this game came out. Nearly a month ago. And I don't know how far I am in the story. I'm imagining not very. My character's all level 30 odd. I don't feel like I've done much at all. 12 episodes in an RPG. It's nothing really in the grand scheme of things. Come on, sit. Camera. I don't know. I'm, I'm concerned. Probably. I would say was I regretting doing this series? Maybe. I was excited to do a blind launch LP on the channel. I begin to think now it should not have been an RPG. 
Uh, I should have played through this game normally at my own pace. Are you thirsty? You could really use a quick break to get some tea. I am. I could empty a mug of iced tea in one spot Random. Right now. What? Yeah. You actually drink your tea cold? But doesn't that make it extremely bitter? Everyone drinks tea that way in Langdok. It's a little bitter, but also refreshing. Oh. Especially in the summer. Hmm. I would think drinking cold tea would give you a tummy ache. I guess not. <laughs> no. Not unless you drink too much of it. That was uh, absolutely fascinating PI. Private actions in this game seem to have little relevance to anything. In Star Ocean 4, they were quite important. Um, the events that took place in the PAs had effect on the review you unlock that character's ending. There's, there's the ending of the game. Each character also has a, an ending. I then was grinding to get the chance to get a bouquet or with a bouquet, and that created an item you could give to a character to have a gift. And that triggered like one of the final, the final play. And if you saw that, you um, you could get their ending. And maybe someone like that in this game. I don't know. The PA just seems to have little, if any, relevance. Okay, I was thinking that the treasure chest was there, but it actually looks like it's up here. Oh. <sighs> What's got you down, Fiore? I have a oh, terrible fucking. craving for my country's tea and sweets. I'm so homesick. I don't think they call that being homesick. I think they it call it down being down. hungry. Oh, that's how it was down here. It looks on the map, it looks like it's on like, the cliff edge itself. Don't tell me, I'm gonna get caught up in battles before it gets the item. No, there we go. One stick, wow, that was worth it. Oh, wait, no, it wasn't. Now I'm fucking paralyzed. Did someone heal me? Didn't have anything. Nikki said they do eject shit. Now she's swinging her weapon around like a battle. Don't take me so I feel like the whole thing was a waste of time myself, but whatever Trevor, I suppose. Okay, let's go up here. I was thinking of other series for the channel. When I started actively uploading episodes and videos and stuff last year, I did end up stopping around, well, around September August actually. The excited people look at work. Uh, I don't plan on doing that now. Anyway, um, I just recorded a series with my brother. So I'm going to do a series called FFX vs. Bro. Because we were playing a uh, Mario Party. Mario Party 10. This is without commentary, of course. Um, but, like, because of Nintendo's policies, the first episode. At first, there were just copyright strikes. And I couldn't monetize them, not a problem. Uh, I don't monetize my videos at the moment anyway, I'm not part of a network or anything. Doesn't mean I never will. I would love to, you know, be able to make videos and have that be what I do. But it's kind of like a pipe dream. It's like being an actor. You know, people do get to make YouTube videos and earn money off doing that. And it's like a dream job. Almost, almost, uh, almost pot dream kind of lofty heights. I think you're very lucky. Okay. You've got to have some skill as well, of course, to produce good content. Otherwise, no one would bother watching you. And you've got to have a good personality, you know, good commentary. If your commentary is boring, then people won't bother that. listening to you, watching you. So there is some skill that and obvious effort involved. Tell me that would down. But um that's a, a great element of luck. Tell me that that opens up. Or something it has to. Yeah, so there's some luck involved as well, so. <sighs> Here's the colonial side, is the question. 
Oh, you bitch. Oh, you bitch. Shotgun blast. He's fucking everywhere. Calm down. Very hinge, kill everyone. There we go. Great job. Let's keep moving. Ugh, now my clothes are dirty. Must continue. Level. Oh, there we go. I can't believe we've literally spent 20 minutes running back around the place as we've already been. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. This is. I've kind of made a decision. This is a side quest episode, let's discuss. But then after it. Shit. After it, if I do any side quests and stuff, I'll probably do a enough stream. I mean, if I do that, I wouldn't have fun. I think what I'll do. Future out. What the? F Future LPs, RPG LPs. There will be series that I've already, and games that I've already played before. Do not tell me it's another fucking place I can't jump down. Oh, ah. The map is useless. You should stay on the map. Like arrows pointing where you can go down, and they're telling you, like, you know, it's cut off. Like, the line is there. Signifying it's a cliff of some sort, I suppose. Do special arts a thousand times. Battle trophy. That was a big Why can't they all be this easy? Down here. I need to go down here. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> Come on, let's move. So yeah, from now on, any side questy stuff that we do, I'll leave it to, um, I'll leave it as, um, solely, like on the stream or something, just for a few hours if need be. And then I'll have it as a bonus episode on the channel, so not one that you'd have to watch to, like, follow the story, no, be no story, don't you need to? Um, but it'll just be up there if you want to see side quests that the game offers. Or if you notice in one of the main episodes, oh, we need to get that item from or my Jefferson have all those skills or, you know, stuff like that. So we need to get Stall now, we should hopefully find Ruddle. Unless there's going to be some more drama that comes in. All the shit we have to do to find him. I do remember now speaking to those people in the just before, saying that he was, um. He was at, uh. I think I remember thinking at the time, and I'm going all the way back to the first time of the game. Right now, in the middle of an episode. So I thought I'd spend a whole episode doing that instead. Save points and a harvest point. I'm interested in either. Let's have a good look around. Okay, and the star. Try and find this asshole. Hopefully, it's not too difficult to find him. We are about halfway plus three of the episode. Lost a bit in this very old shit. It's old stuff. Although he's, he's got my equipment now, so I don't know, old, I suppose. There's been some updates there from the looks of it, but you've already got superior equipment. Oh, no. I wondered if for a second um, I'd brought him. The updates of the equipment on that on the ship. Let's go, whatever it was. 
Emerson ship. Whoops. There was a shop there with lots of updated equipment. <sighs> Home sweet home. It found me, that was it. I knew they'd said where he was. <laughs> Install and it was in infirmary. Uh, looks like he's moved on, but I'll be. We've got a record number of patients today, and I assume you're looking for Woodle. Pardon me. Oh, for fuck's sake. Yeah, for, just show his face in the capital again. So does that mean I've got all them? It should be like, oh, for fuck's sake. It literally just come from there. And then you're gonna have us go all the way back. Speak to me, bitch. He's gone all the way for a minute just to get some medicine for his hangover. Is she gonna say anything else? I'm gonna have to deal with his trench for the time being. She. Whoops. She. Yep, she has jiggle physics. And the guy, anyway, even. I just want to go all the way back to central Missouri. It's a complete waste of fucking time this has been. Let's go through the Dakar footpath rather than just go back the way we came. I can just see this whole episode is literally just going to be travelling to Midok, travelling to here, travelling back. To his video, which we just came from, and then speaking to Rudel and ending the quest, and then oh, well, thanks for watching. So, yeah, definitely side quest stuff will be done on the stream because I don't want to just do it all off stream so it, it's not seen at all. I want to show up, I want to show up what the game has to offer with this series. The whole reason why people do LPs is because they love playing games and they want to show off games that they like and why they like these games, why they like this game series. This is an RPG. I love RPGs. What I love about RPGs is partly all the side stuff and side quests that you can do. I wonder if... Something just popped up on my screen about Skype. I don't use a Skype. I don't know why it's not even on my laptop. But it's saying that I can now sign in or something using something something. I just updated the PC. Not the laptop, sorry, the PC. Um, so I wonder if it's just, you know, I don't care about all this. I can't actually remember. Have you ever seen Victor Special? Calls forth untold strength! Oh yeah, does he go crazy? He does not need a load of slashes. One of the thing about fighting these easy enemies is you're very quickly filled up the reserve gauge. Because they're pretty simple, easy enemies to kill. You're less likely to get knocked about, so you, your gauge won't break. Um, you can fill it up nice and easy. Do you any lots of damage and kill him quickly? That's one good thing about doing all this side questy stuff. You know? Isn't this where there was a cutscene? So close to the cliff edge right there. Uh. Use the fucking item, bitch. There we go. Yeah, this is for paralyzing me. Shouldn't stay paralyzed. All I care. Oh, didn't we do it? He's guarding. Attack me. I still don't know how to counter attack. 
heavy circle actually. Come on, me, bro. Fine, whatever. So I just have to kill you, not the rest. Finish. Enough battle nourishes the warrior. I need to heal my fucking MP again. Just burn through it like it's nothing. Oh, bro, I have a guy break. Asshole. After I record this episode, I'm going to be recording this week's Ace Attorney. There's only 40 minutes of Ace Attorney this week. That's as long as this is a single episode. <laughs> so it's very easy to record them. Oh, sometimes I find myself tempted to just do 20 minutes of, of even this series, but with RPGs, it's 20 minutes. I mean, what would we have got done? We'd have travelled from the Zulia to Midden. Maybe halfway to um, Stahl. We'd have got nothing done. I suppose if I'm doing a story segment, we go 20 minutes or two. But the last episode, the last episode was about half an hour of being cut to If the episode was 20 minutes, we'd have done the, the boss fight in there. We'd have done the first, we'd have done the first part of the cutscenes, I think, until um, you can charge radio on the ship. We'd have, I'd have probably ended it there. Because it would have been longer than 20 minutes by then. So yeah, you need, you do need a good um, 40 minutes on RPGs. Like if I was doing a Pokemon series, which I'd love to do on the channel sometime. I don't currently have the means to record um, Pokemon, I can't record um, handheld games right now. Then mind you, if they was to release, you know how they've done Pokemon Coliseum and Pokemon X thing out of darkness? They were RPG adventures, uh, but on home consoles. Slightly different, of course. No wild Pokemon apart from in the second game, and then it was only like a nine wild Pokemon. Um, but if they did something like that for the Wii U, I'd be able to record that. Because I can record the Wii. And, and the Wii U. I can record the Wii, I can record the Wii games as well, actually. And you can record Wii mode. Although, I'd have to be sure of the settings, otherwise the screen would look. Well, I, I'm recording the Wii, because Ace Attorney's on the Wii. Um, but you'll notice that there's a bit, or you may know, I don't know if it shows up on the videos, but there's like a black line around the, um, the the background, the phoenix white background in that, with the logo and that's scrolling up the screen. I don't obviously put that in. That's already in. That's already part of it, because the screen's only ever so big, because it's a port of, of a DS game. That in itself is a port of a Game Boy Advance game. The um, remakes are done, well remasters I suppose. The HD trilogy, Phoenix White HD trilogy, which came out like 2014. I believe um, that's got improved uh, right, graf well, graphics, I suppose. But it's basically improved assets, improved backgrounds, improved sprites, model, uh, not models, sprites for the characters. So if they brought that to like, that'd be great if they brought that to like Wii U eShop. That'd be great. Don't see that. As you know, Attorney 6 is out September, I believe. Cannot wait for that. Uh, and as for the channel, we'll be um, we'll be showcasing more Ace Attorney series that going on. We've we've actually nearly finished. I don't know how many episodes it'll be. Frog after the rain let up. I to think. I think one episode. Well, there are many species of frog that inhabit my country. So I think this was twenty three episode twenty four is going live tomorrow. I think or something like that. Yes, it is. We had three episodes last week and two this week. Twenty five. So. Want to catch one and eat it? I must respect. I wonder. It may hit forty episodes. I think forty episodes would probably be the max. It won't be much more than that. Just, uh, thought I'd say that with some certainty. 
I'm not, as I say, I'm not doing the fifth downloadable episode. That was made just for the DS version. It's incredibly long, it's incredibly difficult. It's not part of the main canon. I don't think it's events are ever mentioned again. Well, actually, no, 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 no. That's a lie. That's a lie. Characters, a, a character that appears in it appeared in Ace Attorney 4. Um, that was a reference to her, to the that case. That's the only time it's been mentioned since then. So it is part of a canon. But I'm, I'm, I'm doing it. Is this Riddle? Speak to me. Characters in this game, I don't speak to you. Talk up, she's showed up and then disappearing again. Fuck's sake. Uh, who are you? See, if I press X now, that won't advance the text. What's wrong with an old fashioned text box? Would we mean that Ash to find me? Well, that couldn't have been easy. No, it was a complete fucking ball like. I'll go back to the inn and meet up with her. I apologise if I've caused any trouble. I'm better get fucking something for this. I'll go back to the inn. Okay. So I'm going to have to go back to the inn. Pardon me. You're out the fucking way, Brat. Oh, I spent 40 minutes of my life doing something for nothing. Fuck's sake. Let's go. Let's find out what's happening. Unless I was just supposed to go back to the board and mark the quest as complete. I mean, that's what I'm supposed to do. So nothing's going on here. So yeah, future side questy stuff will be either done off screen or they probably won't. Okay, so yeah, that's all I needed to do. So I did find him. I need two little fish. I need a tortoise shell. I need red fruit. For each of us come to ruin you out of your training room. Fuck, I was just there in the stall a minute ago and I could have done this. And now I kind of want to do this because I can get a manual for it. And it's from Ted, man. It's from my, it's from my boy Ted. I've unlocked a roll. What the fuck does this one mean? It's this one. Gain SP. Not EXP at 1%. Never do you balk at the dearth of re moon. Inspire your allies to become more skilled. If that means, if that's useful at all, tell me. Normal attack, stun rate plus 4. That's not, that's not learning. That reason's not learning, it is their rate rate. Is he getting this level for like a new one as well? Nope. Don't mean shit. I'm literally just raising rolls just indiscriminately. Executioner. One percent chance to ignore target's defense. Just increases my um this also the one increases my stats. Oh well, that could stay for now. Okay, let's go back to the end. And to our lovely to be safe point and then we can end the episode. I feel was kind of a waste of time. But I've learned something by doing it. We've completed the whole riddle stuff that was getting in the way for a while. Um uh, well that's done. We've we got a new role and we got an earth charm. Okay, thanks for watching. Come back on Wednesday and we're gonna carry on with the story. We'll get on with the story, get some more progress made. Okay, thanks for watching. Thanks again.